Ready to go. Okay. Uh, thanks for coming this afternoon. Uh, some two weeks ago, on the 9th of March uh, this year, a young 13-year-old boy by the name of Declan Crouch went missing from the Meacham's Beach area. There has been an intensive investigation with resources from State Crime Operations Command and the Far Northern Region applied to the investigation in an effort to identify uh, where uh, Declan is and uh, what's happened to him. Uh, it's important that the investigation and the ongoing process of trying to find, it, find him remains in the media. We thank you for your assistance in that regards. Uh, we're looking at uh, this media release going nationally to give us every possibility of trying to uh, locate his whereabouts. We are in following up a number of leads at the moment and are particularly interested in anyone who had contact with Declan in the week leading up to uh, his disappearance on the 9th of March. Those persons may have had, had some conversation with Declan that may give an indication with what we know now about why uh, he has gone missing on the 9th. Uh, that conversation may mean nothing uh, to you, but may form part of the jigsaw that we're trying to put together. So we ask that you contact Crime Stoppers on the 1800 333 000 number if you have had, had some sort of contact with him or some sort of conversation with him up until the uh, time that he has gone missing on the 9th. We're also following uh, a number of uh, pieces of information from the public and also uh, canvassing a lot of uh, areas in the uh, Mitchins Beach uh, area with a view of um, talking to people who, who may uh, have seen uh, young Declan on the, uh, on the afternoon of the 9th. We do know from witnesses that he was last seen leaving the school bus and uh, walking uh, towards his house, which was a short distance away. Uh, from that point on, it's a bit of a mystery and uh, we continue to follow leads from the public. Happy to take questions from that point onwards. Uh, look, um, as you know, with any young children, they talk to their mates uh, and they may not uh, talk the same sort of conversation or the content of that conversation could be totally different to what they may talk to their parents about. So we're looking for any of his schoolmates or anyone that had contact with him uh, that... Uh, may ha have some information that means nothing to them but could be important to us. So we ask that you, through your parents, if you're a schoolmate uh, or uh, uh, friends, make contact with uh, Crime Stoppers in particular or the local police. Are you going to say what's in that last information that you Well, we simply don't know. Uh, there has been some speculation in the media and I think we have to be very careful about that. We're remaining open-minded at this stage and uh, we will uh, commit uh, resources to any piece of information that comes in and follow up any lead that we believe uh, gives us an opportunity to locate where Declan is. So that would be we're considering every possibility at the moment. As I said, we remain open-minded and, uh, and we will continue to follow leads uh, along the lines of uh, any inquiry that we think is relevant. That is a piece of information that has been followed up and I'm not able to make any further comment at the moment. How many police are involved now? Uh, we have a, a number of police involved, uh, particular from the command. We have members of the Homicide Squad, Missing Persons Unit, uh, Child Safety, State Flying Squad and the Electronic Examination Unit who are currently examining the... Uh, computer uh, associated with young Declan as that's been previously reported upon. Uh, look we uh, we simply don't know it's been two weeks obviously we have concerns in relation to his safety and welfare uh, we always remain optimistic in these investigations we're working closely with the family and we are putting every effort possible into locating him safe and well. Oh, look, uh, as always, uh, we remain open-minded about these things. Cairns is a big place. 
uh, children uh, as much as we want to believe sometimes, uh, being a father myself, uh, that uh, they are at certain locations, rest assured they'll be elsewhere. So we are very open-minded about that and uh, as uh, the senior management group associated with the investigation, we are committed to uh, being open-minded and considering every possibility. Uh, we are monitoring uh, every um, uh, avenue associated with young Declan, and it's, it's fair to say that he hasn't been using uh, those items that you've issued that you've mentioned. Do you have any reasons why you're asking? Uh, not that we're we're aware of. Uh, there are obviously in any uh, young child's life there are things that may upset. Uh, different children. We're considering all those possibilities. We're working closely with the family and at, at the moment there's nothing which uh, concerns us to believe that he would have a reason to leave the family. Uh, we are making inquiries of, with all people associated with Declan. Uh, at the moment we're following up uh, a couple of leads. Uh, I probably shouldn't say leads, we're following up a couple of items of inquiry that have taken us outside the state and they are just uh, generic inquiries at this stage with no specific uh, reason. Are you concerned then about the similarities with Well, that's been speculated in the media and I think that's an exaggeration of, of the facts as they are known at this time. Uh, clearly, there is uh, not one scintilla of evidence that suggests that this is in any way uh, similar to the issues as we know in relation to Daniel Morgan. Would you see those as pretty significant part of the investigation since the Daniel Morgan investigation? Look, I think uh, the the end of the day, and my memory serves me right, it's the only one of this nature since that time anyway. Uh, we treat all uh, missing persons seriously, in particular young children and we'll commit whatever resources it takes until they are located. Bearing in mind, a lot of uh, children, um, the younger children, are simply late home from school and parents are concerned, and we activate in relation to those um, uh, pieces of information being brought forward to the police, and uh, the kids turn up a little bit later. So, you know, around the, the state, around Australia, the, these uh, issues are taken very seriously. Uh, look, I uh, don't intend to go into the operational side of the, op in the investigation. Was it meaningful to the DG that Daniel um, had been off of his own volition somehow more than an obstruction type scenario? Uh, did you say Daniel or Declan? Oh, Declan, sorry. What was the question? Uh, a police leaning more towards um, the idea that he's taken off on his, of his own volition rather than any obstruction. No, we haven't made any uh, decision in relation to that at the moment. We're remaining very open-minded about uh, what may have happened and uh, that ensures that we uh, look widely and don't miss anything through bringing bias into the investigation. How did this device come into the uh, I can't give you the latest update on that. Um, uh, there has been some information coming from the public which has been followed up. Uh, but uh, obviously we're appealing today for people that may have had some contact with Declan prior to him going missing uh, that uh, may be of interest to us. And as I said before, it, it may be not relevant from your point of view, uh, but it may be that piece of the jigsaw that we're missing. So anyone who had contact, uh, at Green Crime Solvers, if you're a, a young child that's a friend of Declan's, please let your parents know and have them ring Crime Stoppers. Uh, yes, we're continually uh, resourcing the region and that's scalable. The full resources of this command are available if necessary and uh, we sent flying squad members uh, to Cairns. Uh, there will be further uh, members of the homicide squad uh, going up in the next uh, 24 hours and, and they are going purely because of the specialist nature of investigating uh, complex investigations of this nature. Well, you have the uh, regional uh, detectives and you have the command's commitment, bearing in mind we have a number of resources operating remotely. The technology today allows us to do that, particularly in relation to computer examinations. Uh, so um, 
from uh, the command's commitment, we've got uh, approximately 15 to 20 working on it. Some of them remain in Brisbane. And then you've got the uh, command, uh, the Cairns commitment from the local CIB and CPIU. My understanding is that it has, and obviously as new information comes in or further strategies are considered, uh, we're able to scale searches of that nature up and down. Uh, we've spoken to a number of witnesses and I, I won't go any further than that. Uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, not to my knowledge.